My name is Louise Arbour. I'm the president and CEO of International Crisis Group. We published uh, last week a report entitled War Crimes in Sri Lanka. Uh, in that report, we documented uh, very serious allegations uh, regarding the perpetration of war crimes, both by the LTT and by the uh, government forces in the last uh, five months of the brutal war that opposed the government to these Tamil Tigers over a period of decades. The last uh, few months of the war were particularly brutal and characterized by crimes uh, perpetrated by both sides of the conflict uh, on civilian populations. We've accumulated uh, credible evidence, certainly sufficient to give reasonable grounds to believe that these crimes were perpetrated uh, with the consent uh, of the highest uh, authorities uh, responsible under the chain of command. Uh, these uh, uh, violations of international humanitarian law, the laws and customs of war applicable to all nations, included the deliberate uh, shelling of civilians, of, of uh, hospitals, clearly in contravention of international law, and the targeting, uh, uh, which appears to be very deliberate, of humanitarian operations. Uh, on the basis of the evidence that we've accumulated and of the also evidence that uh, other NGOs and some of the international media have been able to accumulate, we have called for an international inquiry to examine uh, what happened in these last few months of the war to determine the number of civilian casualties um, and to examine in particular the mechanisms of accountability that should be put in place um, if indeed uh, war crimes have been uh, perpetrated as the evidence suggests. Since we released the report, there's been uh, enormous uh, public interest, media interest. Uh, there's been a lot of support, certainly for our call for a further credible, transparent international investigation. Uh, the government of Sri Lanka and uh, supporters of the governments have uh, not surprisingly taken issue uh, with everything except the substance of our allegations, with the timing of our publication, uh, imputing all kinds of sinister motives uh, to our report. There has yet to be a serious uh, engagement or credible rebuttal of any of the substantive uh, allegations that are contained in the report. Very surprisingly, the government is uh, resisting terribly the idea of an international investigation, purportedly on the basis that this amounts to a form of neo-colonialism. Hardly, I would suggest, a persuasive argument to ensure that a credible narrative is put out both for the people of Sri Lanka and for the international community documenting what happened in this very dark chapter of their history. This is not only important to ensure that the long-standing culture of impunity uh, in Sri Lanka is reversed, but also to ensure that, in particular, uh, the, the Tamil population, but the whole population of Sri Lanka, understands and believes the extent to which uh, the Tamil Tigers preyed uh, on their own people in these last few months of the war. The narrative put out by the government will never be a credible one, particularly if it continues to prove unable and unwilling to examine its own responsibility.